or internship, job shadows, um, apprenticeship program, something new that you guys have probably heard about. Um, we have all those opportunities for you and would love to connect and have you guys learn more from us. So with that, um, I'll pull up this flyer a little bit. Just you guys kind of have some reference of what I'm talking about. Like I said, kind of goes over all of our services, benefits, locations, um, probably a little small to see there, but the bulk of it, the opportunities for you guys um, that we have. Um, scholarship programs, um, we have one that's for high schools. And then a recent one, recent one we added, we are the official co-op of the Kansas City Royals. Um, and so we have a Royal scholarship um, for high school and college students. Um, so it's something new this year, um, but a really big scholarship that we're releasing um, and open to college kids as well. So there's information on there about that. Um, really big um, scholarship. If you win first place, it's a $4,000 scholarship. Um, so we encourage you guys to apply. The deadline for that is April 1st. Um, and so on top of that, once again, job shadows, internships, um, and apprenticeship programs, all opportunities for you guys. Job shadow, come come hang out with us for a day, half a day, full day, month, week, whatever it may be. Internships, we usually run those throughout the summer. Um, anything in all of our departments, grain, agronomy, energy, feed and farm supply, um, accounting, safety, any of that type of stuff. Um, or at the career fairs, um, all of our jobs are always posted on Handshake, so check us out there for those. And then something recently too is our apprenticeship program. Um, recently started that. Um, we have a chemical applicator and a CDL driver. So if you're looking to gain some experience, um, well, earning an income, learning, getting your licenses, certifications, um, we have those as well. Um, so once again, kind of want to make it beneficial for you guys about what Ag Partners has to offer you. Um, so we have all of those. And like I said, it's all linked on our website. It's just agpartnerscoop.com slash careers. Um, you can find all of our job openings, benefits, internships, job shadows, apprenticeships. It's all on there. So happy to talk to you guys more about anything and look forward to connecting. So that's kind of all I have for everybody. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. We really appreciate it. And I'm sure students are going to look forward to connecting with you um, when they have the opportunity in the breakout room. So um, our next person going in alphabetical order is CropQuest. Uh, Corey, are you ready and able to, um, I think, share your screen if you have something to share or just talk is totally fine too. So we'll look forward to hearing from you. Okay, hopefully you can hear me okay. But um, I am going to try to share a video here. So hopefully the volume works, so stay tuned. Okay, can you see the black screen? Okay, I'm not sure. I can't hear anybody. So I don't know if anybody can see me or. Yes, we can see the screen. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Screen. Okay, I'll go ahead and push push play here. At CropQuest, we're not just hiring to fill jobs, we're looking for people that will take ownership in CropQuest. Whether you're looking for an internship or a full-time career in crop consulting, we're laying down a foundation for you to become an employee owner. That's right, our full-time employees actually own CropQuest. But this isn't the only thing that makes us unique. At CropQuest, we don't sell any products, we just provide great service. Our agronomists work with farmers and producers across the High Plains, consulting on both irrigated and dryland crops. We pride ourselves in making unbiased recommendations to help our farmers grow more efficiently while increasing their yield potential. As an intern or beginning agronomist, you can expect to be a part of an exceptional training program along with having a personal mentor team. We provide our agronomists and interns with a company pickup, ATV, and all of the necessary tools for the job. Keeping up with the latest technology has kept us successful. Our precision ag solutions are always evolving, and we are looking for people like you to continue growing our success. So if working with crops and building relationships excites you, connect with us to learn more about the potential that lies ahead. Apply online for our full-time agronomist and internship positions at CropQuest.com. But remember, we're not just hiring to fill jobs, we're looking for future employee owners.
Okay. So hopefully you can see me now. So just a, a short little video about kind of who we are and what we do. And just to recap, um, we were, we're an employee-owned company founded in 1992, headquartered in Dodge City, Kansas. We have uh, agronomists in seven different states across the High Plains. Um, we consult on more than 1.6, uh, 1.7 million acres um, in those areas. And with that, we have about 80 full-time agronomists on our staff and then about 12 support staff, tech team, and admin staff. Um, most of most full-time employees, they work from their trucks. They work from home. They have flexible schedules. Um, of course, they need to meet the me need to meet the needs uh, needs of the our producers and our farmers. But we have a lot of opportunities for internships. Um, with those, they are full time or full summer internships. They are um, paid internships. You get to work side by side, one on one with a an agronomist or two different agronomists. Kind of depends on the division that you're in. But it's a very hands on in the field, a scouting, looking at recommendations, getting to see that farmer producer relationship and watch that develop over the summer. Um, they get to get into some some soil sampling, some tissue sampling, um, even looking at soil tests and, and interpreting those you know, analysis as well with the farmers and producers and kind of seeing that aspect of it. But we'll start looking at internships um, usually in the fall semester for like summer of 2025. I do have some internship opportunities still available in South Central Kansas and Western Kansas. So if you are interested, please pop on and talk to me. I'd like to talk to you more about those. Um, and with full-time positions, we do have a, a few full-time positions, uh, mostly in uh, Western Kansas. And so if you're interested in full-time, uh, I'd like to talk to you. We provide uh, great benefits, uh, you know, health insurance. We have a fully funded retirement plan. So you're not putting anything you know, out of pocket into your retirement. We take a, a you know, an employee, employee spouse vacation every year. So just a lot of perks and benefits with being an employee owned company. So this is something that excites you. Pop in and say, hi, I'd like to talk more, you know, to you all. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all that, Corey. And again, you, you can talk with her um, later in the breakout rooms as well. Okay, so next up we have Farmers Cooperative and I believe we've got uh, Bennett here to to speak with you from Farmers Cooperative. So I'll I'll let him get started. Perfect. I'll try to share my screen and see if we can't get this deal to work. All right. So you guys all able to see that? Yes. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll get started right into it. Um, yep. As Mary Ellen introduced me, my name is Bennett. I'm a part of the HR team here at Farmers Cooperative. Um, I just graduated college this past May, so I'm not that much further ahead than a lot of you guys. I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of our business, what we do, and some of the opportunities you might have for students in your shoes. So Farmers Cooperative, our mission is investing in our owner's success. And what that means is cooperative, um, basically our producers, our farmers that we serve are our member owners. So they make up our board of directors. It um, doesn't matter how much ground you farm, whether it's a quarter or for 10,000 acres, everybody has a vote in some of the decision making, and it doesn't matter if you're a businessman from New York City or wherever, um, it doesn't matter how much money you pay, you actually have to do business with the cooperative to have a say and to be a shareholder in the company, which is really unique. And so all the products and services we provide are designed to help benefit the member owners, help them to be successful on their operation. So kind of the size and scope, I'm going to show you a map here on the next slide, but we're located in about 74 communities. We've got a little over 90 facilities. So there's some locations where we have a grain elevator and an agronomy shop and all that in the same community. Um, we've got about 600 employees. So that's part-time, full-time, interns all over the place. Um, basically, uh, when we talk about being a full-service cooperative, that means that any product or service a producer might need to be successful, we're going to provide something in that area. And so we break that down into four key departments. So that's our grain side, the grain elevators. Um, we've got agronomy. I'll talk more about all these departments in the next few slides. We've got energy and then the feed side for our livestock producers. And so here's our map. We go right about kind of on the north side, Lincoln, York, Nebraska, and then drop down south into that northeast Kansas area. Um, for you guys in Manhattan, that's about 50 minutes to an hour north of you. Um, it's kind of that Frankfurt, Blue Rapids, Waterville area. Um, we've got a lot of opportunities spread throughout this territory. And so talking about the grain side, um, we've got 40 different grain facilities. We've got seven shuttle loader facilities. So those are um, elevators that are able to load full unit, 120 car trains. Um, we actually ship grain all over the country and internationally, which I think is a really unique stat for, for a local co-op. Um, we do about uh, $1.4 billion in sales, and a lot of that is made up of the, of the grain side. And so um, even though we're kind of the local small town pride community, a lot of areas, we're really big business. And so 
Um, we also offer market advising for our producers, kind of help them be able to turn a good profit on their grain and then merchandising to a lot of different local markets and on the rail all over the place. On the agronomy side, uh, we got chemical seed fertilizer, both the product and the application of that product. So obviously I'm a big pictures guy. I don't like the slides with a bunch of words because I can't read that well. So um, we've got the ground application, aerial application, the precision ag, those guys are way smarter than I am, but doing all kinds of stuff with our producers that are a little more tech savvy. And then obviously we do a bunch of research on the chemical and the seed side, helping kind of see what are the best products to be able to service our, our customers. And then the last two departments that I talked about, um, the feed and the energy side. And so feed for our livestock producers, that's both the delivery of it, as well as um, nutrition, production consulting. So we have um, employees that'll go out meet with producers, see how they can benefit their herds or whatever uh, livestock they're working with. We do about 450 million pounds of feed a year that we're manufacturing, both chickens, hogs, cattle, all the way up to the animals at the Lincoln Children's Zoo, like capybaras and giraffes and all kinds of stuff. So we're all over there. And then the energy side, I feel like a lot of time gets left out, but um, that's definitely a really important aspect of the producers we're serving. That's fuel, propane. Uh, we got tire shops and on-farm tire uh, repair some convenience stores, gas stations spread throughout a rural area, and we're actually a Midwest tire dealer, um, one of the leading ones. So we actually ship tires all over the country. So talking a little bit about opportunities for students. So first off, job shadow program, really good opportunity for if you just have a couple afternoons or a free Saturday morning, you can come up to one of our locations, tag along with one of our um, professionals in any career field. We've got 110 about job titles at Farmers Cooperative. So that's 110 different career avenues you can take even though we're only in a company of 600 employees, a lot of people to shadow and kind of learn more about a career that might be interested in. Um, internships, we got some that are still available for the summer. Um, a lot of them are very hands-on, kind of get you out in the field, get to see really firsthand experience working in both the operation side as well as grain operations. You got to do a little bit of origination, kind of see a well-rounded experience that um, gives you a good picture of a specific department. Um, we got post-grad careers, so if you're looking for something to do, if you're a senior looking for something to do after you graduate school, really good opportunity for you to be a part of a good company that's going to help you develop both as a, as a person and as a professional. Um, really good benefits program. And all. I'll, I can give you a lot more detail in the breakout rooms, but um, if you want to get, take the advantage now, you can scan our QR code. Um, they'll just take you to our career page. You, you can learn more about who we are, some of the careers that we might have available right now. Um, my contact information is listed on there, and just learn more about who we are at Farmers Cooperative and how we serve both our employees and our com and our customers every day. That's all I got. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And yes, students, you can connect with him in the breakout room. And so now we are on to um, Frito-Lay. And I believe we have Ashley here this evening from Frito-Lay. So Ashley, whenever you're ready, go right ahead. Awesome. Um, give me a second here. All right. Uh, so jumping in here, I, as she said, my name is Ashley Wallison. I actually work out of the Topeka Frito Lay plant. So I'll give you guys a little bit of background about myself um, and some of the opportunities that I had working at the plant and then go into what all we do in the area we service and um, what other opportunities are available at the manufacturing facility. All right, so I've been there for almost five years now. I was also a K-State grad. Uh, I graduated from the College of Engineering, but that doesn't mean we don't hire um, all any sort of K-State um, college discipline. So um, I work very closely with people from the College of Business or even some of the managers out there are also uh, College of Ag. And this is just a little bit of background. So initially, if you were to join the Frito-Lay team, um, you'd most likely start out on like an off shift. So second shift hours or third shift hours. Um, working in one of our five main departments between the chip packaging, chip manufacturing, um, warehouse, there's two different departments in there. And then our tech side, which is um, more the maintenance of equipment and um, upkeep on the piece of equipment that actually make uh, the chips. So 
Um, as I said, I've done quite a few different roles throughout the facility, um, and I've all and it's all been in Topeka. So this is an overview of our site. It's a very large manufacturing facility in Topeka. We have 10 uh, manufacturing lines. So we make anything from your Lay's potato chips, the scoops you'll eat at the Super Bowl this weekend, um, Tostitos, Doritos, uh, you name it on the Walmart shelves, we probably make it. Uh, and then here's a little more detail. So the ones I have outlined in red are the ones that we actually manufacture in Topeka. Um, and these products that we actually ship from Topeka go all across the nation. So, and even internationally. So we have um, distribution centers in Canada. I mean, we ship our scoops from Topeka all the way to California or all the way to Florida. Um, so we really cover a lot of territory. Topeka itself, oops, one, one too many. Topeka itself um, is the third la largest plant uh, in the Frito-Lay network. Um, so we make about 181 million pounds of product a year. So next time you buy a bag and it's only like, you know, eight ounces or something, just think about how much we actually produce throughout the year. We're a 24-7, uh, 365 day plant. Um, so a lot, a lot gets made. <clears throat> um, we also have the second largest traffic system. So um, one thing we pride ourselves on, though, is all of our over-the-road drivers. So all the Frito-Lay trucks you see out on the road, um, those drivers make it home each night. So they go out on a route, um, and they still have the time to make it back. Um, some other cool things about our site, we have a biomass boiler which was added in 2010, and it reduced our natural gas consumption by 72%. Um, we also follow a seed to shelf model. And so our natural resources like, or sorry, our uh, raw materials, <laughs> um, like our potatoes, you know, that we put into Lay's and Ruffles trip, chips are actually grown by farmers in Nebraska. Um, so we use farmers from Nebraska, Iowa, um, some from Wyoming for corn um, and our potatoes. So, and then additionally at our plant, we get to see chips made from, you know, the raw potato dug from the ground maybe yesterday, all the way to it being in a final chip bag and like ready to go to the store the next day. So diving in here a little further to kind of what working at the facility would look like, or probably post-grad. Um, <clears throat> we focus on the four main areas that I have highlighted there. So as I said earlier, you're either kind of manufacturing or the packaging side or in our warehouse. So we have what's kind of considered a traditional warehouse where it's like pallets of product um, on different racks. And then we also have our direct-to-store customizable cases that we can send um, directly to like a Walmart or a Casey's or your mom and pop um, convenience stores or grocery stores in small communities. Um, and then the traffic side, obviously, and we have thousands of distribution centers across the Midwest that we service. This goes further into the different roles you'd have at the plant. Um, so there's, as I said, there's the let's see, six different roles. Um, and you would most likely start on maybe a three to 11 shift or overnights, which is 11 to seven. Um, it's been you know, uh, roughly eight to, you know, 18 months in role, and then you'd have something new. So the business is always changing. There's always new things to do at the plant. Um, we're always rolling out new innovation for different projects. Um, and as technology advances, so. That's uh, great. Thank you, Ashley. I'm sorry yeah. to be kind of the, the time monitor here. I apologize for that. Um, but we really appreciate you being at this. Um, and um, you can definitely talk with Ashley more about opportunities at Frito-Lay in the um, breakout session. And I think there's probably a wide range of opportunities for students across a lot of disciplines. So that's awesome. Thank you.
Okay, next up, we've got John Deere, and Jara is here with John Deere. So if you're ready, you can go ahead and take it away, Jara. I am. Thank you. Let me go ahead and share my PowerPoint. All right. So let me know if you guys can see my screen. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Great. All right, so I'm going to give you a little bit of background on John Deere as a company before I get into some specific opportunities that we have available. So you may or may not be familiar with John Deere, but hopefully you'll at least learn something out of the presentation. So first, a little bit about me. I'm a lifelong Wildcat, College of Ag grad two times, 09 in AggieCon and 14 in uh, with my MAB. So um, really, really happy to be back at the College of Ag and um, recruiting the next generation of Deere employees. And so I'm married to my husband, Mike. We have three kids and we also farm on the side. So both of us work for Deere and we also farm um, back at home in my home farm. Um, a little bit about my Deere career. So I started in our um path that some of you might take. So I started as an intern first, and then that transitioned into a full-time marketing rep program opportunity. I went through that program, and then I've had roles in our training department, in dealer development, a couple of roles in public affairs, and now I am industry relations manager. So John Deere started with John Deere the man innovating with the very first product. It was the self-scouring steel plow. And we've been innovating ever since. So what he did was he saw a problem that farmers had and he innovated to solve that problem. And that's what we've been doing, continually evolving and innovating to meet customers' needs. So we're the world's largest manufacturer of ag equipment, machinery, and solutions. Um, that includes crop harvesting, tractors, crop care, which is sprayers, tillage, um, smaller tractors for small ag, hay and forage, and of course our turf business. Um, and under that, gators, we've got commercial turf, we've got golf, and we've also got residential turf. We're also a precision ag leader. So this has been a really big focus uh, of ours in the past few decades. And I think now more than ever, we're trying to recognize ourselves as a tech company almost as much as a manufacturer and kind of changing the way that we we do things, changing some of our processes, um, you know, instead of the process of making and selling equipment is far different than technology. Technology moves so fast that we really had to adapt and, um, you know, redo a lot of our processes and uh, how we work together. So we've made a lot of strides in the past few decades. I say few decades, but it's probably been 30, 30 years or so. Um, and now you'll find us with a booth at the Consumer Electronics Show. And we are showcasing some really cool technology uh, that's gonna lead us into the future. And just like John Deere himself, um, we're innovating to meet customers' needs. So where are we going? We've got a production system approach. So we focus on each production system, whether it's um, you know corn and soy, whether it's small grains, um, whether it's you know the livestock sector, we take a look at those sectors and we figure out, you know, how to unlock economic value and deliver sustainable results for each of those different sections. And we believe we're uniquely positioned to deliver economic and sustainable value for our customers with our technology and our solutions. We also, uh, it's very important to us, another part of our strategy is making a difference in our communities uh, that we live and that we work in. And one of those is sustainable outcomes. So we've really focused on uh, being sustainable in our operations with our manufacturing processes and our facilities, but we're also really working to help deliver solutions that will enable our customers to work more sustainably as well. Um, so trying to uh, get higher yields um, with with less. So how can we how can they do more with less? And we're really uh, focusing on their sustainable outcomes as well as ours. 
We're committed to our communities um, through philanthropy, volunteerism, and each of um, where we have facilities, offices, um, we donate our time and resources there. Over, uh, I think in 2021, we announced that over the next 10 years, DEER was going to invest over $200 million um, in those communities that we live and work. So we run so life can leap forward for everyone. So run with us today. We've got internship opportunities. Uh, we don't have any coming up for summer of 24. I think most of those have been filled. Uh, but I do want everyone to look at 2025. It's never too early to start thinking about next year. So please come visit us. We'll be at the career fair. Uh, we'll have a booth there to talk about our internships and our marketing rep program. Um, sales and marketing is our focus at the career fair. However, um, we've got some more information and we can definitely point you in the right direction if you're looking at um, something a little bit more technical, um, you know, whether, you know, you're an ATM major and you're interested in, you know, in some engineering jobs or data and analytics, um, anything like that. So um, what's, our internships are summer based. There are 500 hours that we expect interns to complete. Um, it's selected projects around the business. So Everyone gets the opportunity to submit uh, a case and a uh, proposal for an intern. And these are projects that need done and that are valuable uh, for the business. And they're not recurring every year. They're always different. And it's really based on the needs of the business at the time. Um, and then, I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you. We're probably going to have to cut it short at this point. No worries. Thank your you. Time and I think it's really great. Um, and I hope students will take the time to uh, engage with you more about this because there's lots of really great opportunities there for future. So students, please do check in with her. And now we are ready to talk to Can Equip and Richard. Are you here to join us? Um, if you are, there you are. Thanks for coming. Yes, welcome everyone and hello to old friends in the group. I see some familiar faces and that I'm going to share my screen here, hopefully. Nope, don't want to leave the meeting. Share screen. All right. Can you see this uh, screen there? Looks good. Oh, thank you for the feedback. Hey, Can Equip is your uh, local Case IH and New Holland Ag Equipment dealership. Uh, we have 14 locations across Kansas. We'll get into that here shortly. Always like to start with our mission. We uh, strive to be the leader and trusted partner, providing quality products and um, support and innovative solutions to ag producers in the Midwest. We also want to be recognized for our exceptional customer service and our rewarding career opportunities. Um, we have four values that we operate by, integrity, financial strength, quality, and teamwork. Uh, integrity is the first one, and it's the most important one. We are in the business um, for people. Uh, yes, we sell and service ag equipment, Case IH New Holland, as well as some other lines, but it's people that we need to take care of. And so that's why integrity is the first one. A little bit about our history, started in 1967. Uh, in Wamego, just east of Manhattan. And then from there, you can see we've expanded throughout Kansas and southeast Nebraska. Um, we're a very progressive company. And so we have um, a couple of stores uh, coming open here in 2024. Uh, there, the Solomon store will actually be the Salina Case IH store. They'll move out to uh, that location uh, here this year. And then in 2025, we will take the old Salina store and turn that into a Kubota only store. So um, like I said, very progressive, looking to expand our footprint always um, in the market for those ag producers in the Midwest. Um, our lines of equipment, our main lines are Case IH and New Holland. Case IH, we see a lot of our cash crop producers purchase that equipment. And then on the livestock side, um, a lot of our producers uh, purchase the New Holland side. We also have some short lines company-wide. We have over 50 lines of equipment for those ag producers in the Midwest um, from anywhere from loaders to um, hanging equipment, seating equipment, 
all the way down to zero turn mowers and even some Polarises for that weekend activity if you're into that. Next, our location. So we are a store-driven company. That means that the uh, location is managed by the store manager. Uh, there's four departments in those stores, parts, sales, service, and precision ag. Uh, parts, we help our service department and our customers with their parts needs. Sales, um, we sell the whole goods or trade for equipment. Um, and then on the service side, we diagnose and repair all the equipment that we offer as well as some other lines outside of our, our boundaries. Then the Precision Ag, this is an uh, emerging um, part of our business. We actually have kind of two facets of, of this. We have our uh, Modern Ag, which is a Trimble company, the largest Trimble company in the United States. And then we also have the Precision Farming that focuses more on the Case IH and New Holland uh, side. Ours operations are Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30. Um, we're a very seasonal company, um, so when um, here in April, uh, we'll start getting very busy with planting season, run that all the way through haying season, and then finally finish up with that fall harvest. Uh, the off seasons, we pull back to eight to five, Monday through Friday. As we all know, ag producers work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so we do have after hours, but that is by assignment only. We are headquartered in Wamego, Kansas. Uh, that's where our leadership team is housed, as well as our management teams for, again, parts service whole goods and our precision farming. We have an accounting department that takes care of, care of millions and millions of dollars in and out of the business. Our IT department makes sure that this computer is up and running so I can attend this meeting. I wanna thank them for helping me out. One of a big part of our business, it's kind of the unsung hero is our warranty department. When the manufacturers manufacture equipment that uh, needs to be repaired under warranty, we handle that. And again, we can't be a great company without our people. And so I'm very proud to be part of the human resource department. We have a little over 300 employees that we take care of. And then as well as our marketing and our public sales. So lots of opportunities, whether you want to get your hands dirty or set um, in, in a desk setting, I should say, uh, helping people. Um, supporting a team, um, lots of great careers. Ways to engage with us through career awareness, exploration, and development. A tour is a great place to start. You'll see firsthand of what are the day-to-day -day operations are like at CanEquip. Um, exploration and experience as a job shadow. Spend four hours with us looking at and observing each department. Uh, dealership trainee is a great internship as well as um, our greatest need are diesel equipment technicians, those who diagnose and repair our equipment. And then we have uh, more for the four-year college student, uh, the business operations, seeing the day-to-day -day operations of a can equip location. There is my uh, QR code. You scan that, that'll download my information to your contacts in your smartphone. But if you're an old fashioned person like me, uh, you can enter it in by just taking a picture of my information there to the right. So looking forward to meeting um, new people in this setting. And that is all. Thanks very much, Richard. And yes, please do join um, with all of our folks and Richard as well uh, as you can for the breakout rooms. Um, next up, we've got Kansas Department of Agriculture, and I believe Russell is here. So Russell, take it away. Thank you. And I think my screen should be up on there. Can you see it? Good deal. Thank you, Richard. Uh, so Russell Plashka, I'm the Director of Ag Marketing here at the Kansas Department of Agriculture. So our mission is really to serve the Kansas farmers, ranchers, and agribusinesses, as well as the consumers that they serve. So when you think about that uh, mission, we're committed to serving all of agriculture. And we like to say that we touch every consumer across the state of Kansas in one way or another, whether it's the grain that they're shipping, the livestock they're shipping, or the food that they're eating, we have a hand in that food process at some point every day across the state of Kansas, if not across the country and some parts of the globe. So with that, wanted to start by showing a little bit about 
the different divisions of Kansas Department of Agriculture, because a lot of people don't think of a state agency as a great place to work. If you have a servant kind of an attitude, we serve the people of Kansas. So within that, we have administrative services like a, a lot of other a lot of other companies. This is our office of the secretary. So the secretary of ag, the deputies, the assistant secretaries that work to shape policy, to work with uh, producers, to work with companies, to help really break down barriers to help business grow within the state of Kansas. I like to say you can sum up what we do in two words. We grow agriculture and that's our job day to day. Probably the biggest thing that most people think of when they think of the Kansas Department of Agriculture is the regulatory side, and that's what the Ag Business Services section is. So that includes here in Manhattan, we have the headquarters of Kansas Department of Ag is in Manhattan, Kansas, not Topeka, Kansas. It was moved here in 2015 or 2014 is when the headquarters moved. So we have that collaboration directly with Kansas State University, as well as all of its partners and we're a little closer to the center of the state of Kansas and, and the center of agriculture. We also have our ag laboratory here. So when we think of testing those products that are made across Kansas or the inputs that our farmers and ranchers are using, those things are tested in our laboratory. So we have a great need for chemists. Almost uh, every year we're hiring some chemists in our laboratory. It's a great way to get started in the industry. Um, I'll be the first to say that our that our lab is really a growing grounds for the industry. So most of our chemists come on staff, they're here for two, maybe three, maybe up to five years, and then they're recruited into industry. So it's a great place to get started. It's again, right here in Manhattan. So if you love the purple, you get to live it a little longer. So our dairy and feed safety program, food safety and lodging, grain warehouse. So when we think about all the elevators across the state of Kansas, we have grain warehouse inspection staff that work to make sure that what they say is in those elevators is truly in the elevators. Meat and poultry inspection division, ensuring that our meat and poultry supply across our, all of our state inspected plants are up to quality. Plant protection, weed control, pesticide and fertilizer. So, you know, when we go out, we're looking at everything from the pesticide, ensuring that it's applied according to label. If we get a complaint from a consumer that hey, all my tomatoes died in my garden, we'll, we'll do an investigation to ensure that whoever applied, all we're doing is to ensuring that they applied it according to label. Um, weights and measures, that's one of the divisions that somewhat gets overlooked. So everything from a gallon of gasoline to when you go to the gas station and buy those chicken nuggets at the deli counter, it gets weighed. So anything that's volume measured or weighed on a scale those scales and those measuring meters are all certified by the Kansas Department of Agriculture. The division that I work in, Ag Business Development and Ag Marketing. So we have an international and domestic business development team. They work to ensure that our products are being marketed statewide as well as nationally and as I mentioned, internationally. So we have an international developer that travels the globe ensuring that our products are getting into some of those countries and taking producers along to introduce those to businesses across the globe, as well as bringing those producers from international to Kansas to see firsthand what our producers do day to day. Our division of animal health. So when you think of animal traceability, we think of brands, ID, animal ID, import and exports, export certifications. We have our animal health team. Uh, probably most are familiar with the avian influenza high path that struck Kansas. So our animal health team works hand in hand with those industries and those growers to ensure one, let's first try to keep that disease out. And two, if they do get it, they work with them to, to euthanize those livestock, unfortunately, and help them with the indemnity costs. Division of conservation and our division of water resources are another couple of divisions that are getting a lot more attention today. A lot of engineers work in this area. So we're always looking for water engineers, civil engineers that can do the work of helping designing water systems or water structures for producers. And also to roll out programs to help those producers use water and use the soil more efficiently. And the last thing I wanted to show you was just a, a snapshot of the current opportunities that we have at the Department of Ag. A lot of people have mentioned internships. We also do internships. We have student workers. 
The great thing about being here in Manhattan, we have internships and student workers in the fall, in the spring, and in the summer. Some cases we've had interns work all four years of their college experience right here at the Kansas Department of Agriculture. So it's a great opportunity. You can see the list of careers that are available right now. Love to visit with you more in the breakout rooms. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Russell. And yes, please do chat with him um, if you can in the breakout rooms. And I believe we've got MKC up next. And Aubrey, I believe it, if you're ready to go, we would love to hear from you. Perfect, thank you. Let me get my screen shared. Okay, uh, my name is Aubrey Hamilton. I am the coordinator of internships and student outreach here at MKC. Um, we also have two partner companies or sister companies, so Producer Ag, which is our green merchandising unit, and the Midwest Fertilizer, obviously the fertilizer unit. Um, and so we are a full service cooperative offering our farmer owners um, services in grain, agronomy, energy, feed, uh, risk management, a little bit of precision ag in there, which is super cool. Um, and so uh, we're, uh, we have over 500 employees now. Uh, we've had a couple of recent additions with over 30 locations. And so uh, you can see here on this map a handful of our locations. So everything yellow is going to be considered an NPC. Everything green is our fertilizer sector. Um, and that has kind of adapted since this map was was uh, built, but we're slowly getting there. Um, and so we uh, value our partners. And so um, to us being a cooperative, that means our farmer owners. So if our farmer owners are successful, our employees are success successful, and KC can be successful as a whole. Um, and so shared growth, shared success is our tagline. And so that goes hand in hand with NKC as a whole as well. Uh, so, students, what does this mean for you? Um, we are wanting to become the employer of choice for highly skilled talent in our region. Um, the nice thing about uh, our cooperative is we're kind of all over the state, so if you're thinking about going back home, um, there might be an opportunity for you there. Um, we have various careers, and then we want to see how they fit with you, and then we also like to use these kind of um, experiences and interactions as an extended interview. So our uh, four main opportunities are going to be our job shadow program, our summer help program, or our seasonal program, um, summer internships, and then full time as well. So to break each of those down, um, our job shadow program is a very short experience. You can come hang out with some of our guys for a day, half a day. Um, a lot of students like to be able to see what career opportunities are available to them. Uh, and so... This also gives info about industry roles that you could move into if you see a different career path for yourself. Um, so this could be two or facilities. Um, it's also hands off um, just because of safety reasons within the cooperative, um, but it's a great experience to kind of figure out where you want to go and what you want to do. Um, so summer help seasonal, this kind of changes year to year based on our location needs. Um, but you'll be able to work with our teams. It's very task oriented. You can be hands on with this and it's a longer experience. Um, sometimes these summer help or seasonal um, students will work for us during the school year as well, on the weekends or after classes. And then my biggest piece for myself being the coordinator is our summer internship program. Um, this is gonna be a 12 week long experience. Um, we'll be able to work with teams, managers, a mentor, um, you can view MKC as a whole. You can see every business unit that we have, and it's extremely hands-on. Um, we want our interns to be able to give back to MKC just as much as we're giving you the professional experiences. Um, so we give you a project to work on, which can be implemented within to our company. Um, if our board of directors, our CEO, or farmer owners, they value that project and they see the innovation, um, and the reflection of that hard work, we'll, we'll implement that into our company. Um, we do pay our interns. We provide housing over the summer. Um, you can be located really anywhere within our footprint. Um, we like to push you out of your comfort zone and kind of get you away from your hometown if that's something you're looking for. Um, and then this summer, we have pulled quite a few of our opportunities for interns, but just a few that we have available is going to be grain merchandising in our um, Wichita location. We've got business development or application development for our IT department. Those, um, those guys are super important within our business units. And then we also have some agronomy sales positions. We'll give you a track, we'll give you an iPad, you'll go out and you'll meet with our farm owners um, on your own. 
And I know I'm running out of time, but uh, there's some full-time opportunities as well. I could go on for another probably 25 minutes about all of our full-time opportunities that we have. I would love to chat with you um, in the breakout rooms, and then we can kind of find something else for you. And so uh, what we're looking for is communication, curiosity, and initiative, and teamwork from our prospective employees. Um, here is kind of like where you'll find all the information on the website, just mkcoop.com. So excited to talk to you all. I'm excited to be here today. Thank you so much, Aubrey, and we appreciate that. And yes, I hope you all will go and have a chat with Aubrey as well. And um, looks like we have our final employer for the evening is Seaboard Foods, and Alicia is here. And so we're looking forward to hearing from I think you might be muted, Alicia. I'm not hearing you. Can't hear you at the moment. Maybe it's, um, you might need to select a different microphone sometimes. Not yet. Um, yeah, I've checked with my tech folks. I don't think it's on our end, but um, and there's always that possibility. I, I'm not, I think it looks like, um, um, oh, I hear you now. Is that better? Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Are you able to see my screen? Not yet. Is that working? Yep. Yep, awesome. looks good. Hey, I'll try to keep it short and sweet. I don't really like presentations, so I'm going to kind of slide through them. Um, but at Seaboard Foods, we are the leading American-owned pork production company. So we are a division of Seaboard Corporation, which is housed in Kansas City. There are several different entities involved. Seaboard Foods is just one of them. We have several others that we work with as well. Seaboard Energy, Seaboard Transport, Seaboard Marine, Oversills, overseas uh, milling and trading. There's a lot of different opportunities within Seaboard Corporation. See, I like to fly through things. So we mainly operate in five different states as far as our farm operations. So we are in Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Colorado, and Iowa for our farm operations. Our plant is located in Guymon, Oklahoma, which is in the Oklahoma Panhandle. And our corporate office is located in Kansas City. We also have other plants. Um, we partner with Triumph Foods for our Seaboard Triumph Foods plant in Iowa as well. So definitely a lot of opportunities within our connected systems. Um, we follow the entire process start to finish in pork production. So we have our farm operations. We have animal genetics. We have our own feed mills. We have eight company-owned feed mills throughout those five different states where we make our own feed for our animals. We have nutrition to make sure that our animals are on the correct diet to make sure that they're healthy and safe and getting the proper nutrition that they need. We have our processing plant. We have food safety and quality assurance positions, uh, research and development teams, both on the farm side and the plant production side. We also have a supply chain and we have sales opportunities. So a lot of those opportunities throughout Seaboard Foods are everything that makes us who we are with our connected systems. We have recently added our um, renewable natural gas 
um, which transferred over from Seaboard Energy to Seaboard Foods. So that's a new addition, and we now have um, openings in that as well, if you're interested in learning how we make that bioenergy um, and transferring that methane gas that we collect from the farms um, and produce that through Seaboard Energy. So we have that as well now. So happy to talk to you guys about management trainee positions that we have in all of those different opportunities. My contact information is on the screen as well. And I have lots of um, stuff to talk about in the breakout rooms if you want to learn more. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alicia. We appreciate you.